Hey everyone, it's Eric here from Netflix. Got another video for you guys today. Just who could have guessed, right? Who would have known? It's actually getting a little bit cooler out, even though it's still pretty hot outside. But I just noticed towards more at night, it's where what is it? Oh man, I don't even know. It's going towards the end of August, even though it's still going to be pretty hot in August. Uh, we are in Northern Virginia, actually, location closer to the DC metro area, and um, it's I don't know. Just at night, it seems to be a little cooler. But man, it's hot during the day sometimes. But anyways. AC's blasting is really cool today. So hope you guys are all doing well. And how is everyone? Let me know how you guys are doing out actually out in the comments. I'd love to see that. Always love to hear from you guys. Love your comments always. You guys give such nice comments all the time. So um, now we're going over a data recovery today. I got a nice, pretty cool one today. Yeah. I got this as a syn Synology. Is that how you say it? Yep, yeah, Synology. And this is a network drive, um, otherwise known as what, like a NAS drive, right? So you can connect it via, you see the Ethernet connections there, and it's really easy to connect it to your home network. It's easy to have storage over network, right? That's really nice because the speeds are really nice, and you can access it pretty much from any type of device, especially if it does have an app or makes it something very um, great here, right? So, or make it very, very um, easy to access, right? Because it's through usually some app or a network storage that you can set for network drives you can access usually through linux mac um, android you know apple um, however you want to set that up so we have it in here obviously it's for data recovery so uh, since we see two drives in here that can mean one of a few things that uh, maybe these two drives are connected which would make a data recovery a lot more difficult or maybe these are actually separate drives and these are more redundant upon each other or mirrored right so if you save data to one it's mirrored to the other and we need to see what's going on here so we have the power connection here and uh so what actually happened the customer said that there was a storm out and um the the whole entire system just failed it wouldn't power on so let's go ahead and see if we can actually see that there so i have the power cable it's a nice little well it actually has their name on it synology and let's go ahead and connect and see what we get here. See if it connects, see if it turns on, see if there's any light. And you can see there's no light really whatsoever from that there, right? And it doesn't connect, doesn't power on. Okay, so we see that there's no power. And now we need to go ahead and check, take a look at these drives. So there's two drives in here. So we took it out of the enclosure. I did label the drives. And here's the enclosure here, which is nice. Um, sometimes you can actually get your own drives for them themselves. But we see we have two of what? We have two of the same drive here. We have a 12 terabyte um, NAS drive, Iron Wolf uh, Seagate, which is nice. And then we also have the other one here, another 12 terabyte, pretty much the same type of thing, right? And you'll notice something that's really interesting for this. And these are drives, you don't really see screw holes throughout these ones. And these are actually drives that have helium in them. They use helium really to save space because you can see the drive is very thin for being 12 terabytes, which means it has multiple heads, multiple platters, multiple possible problems too for something to go wrong, right? And it's all in this this enclosure here. So we're, right now, we're not going to care about that, opening the drive or doing anything and that. Um, but what we need to do is we need to go ahead and plug this in and see what happens and see what's going to get what we're going to see. Do do we just have a problem mainly with the enclosure here because there's a storm or is there an actual problem with the drive? So let's go ahead and and see what we got. Okay. Let's go ahead and plug it in. So I'm going to just plug in like normal because this is a regular SATA drive. And let's see if I can bring it out here. So I have my enclosure. Let's go ahead and plug this, see what comes up. Okay, so we see that there's a white light there. The disc is spinning, so that's a good thing. So it doesn't seem to be a problem, but let's see if it pops up or anything in it. Let's see if anything happens, right? So I'm going to go to my file explorer. I didn't hear anything pop up. Uh, let me go bring it up. I can bring up my screen capture. So I don't see anything here. This is just our stuff. Oh, we did hear the chime. Um, but nothing obviously came up there. So let's go to disk management. Let's see if we see a drive here. But I don't know if you guys heard that little beep boop boop doo doop. Okay, so we do see something here. Right? We see a large partition. It's disk 8. And uh, we see that this is a big 12 terabyte drive. Man, they kept a lot of the, the data, huh? Nope. I mean, you know, these 12 terabyte drives, they aren't actually 12 terabytes. So they cut it down a lot. But we see it there. And... Um, we don't see it pop up here. So that's definitely a problem. Um, and we need to see what else is going on. So let's try the other one and see if we get kind of the same thing or to see if there's any other power. But at least that's a good sign that maybe we can work with one. So I'm going to go ahead and um, disconnect it. So watch. I'll plug it back here and we'll go try the other one. So let's go ahead and plug it here. 
Okay, it's probably gonna take a little bit of time because the heads on the, there's there's multiple platters and there's multiple heads, so we might take a little bit of time coming up. This one sounds like it's working a little bit harder than the other one. And let's wait a little bit. So we still didn't hear the chime yet because I already to plug it in. Okay, and we saw that uh, pop up. Even so, you saw the extended partition kind of came up there. And we see pretty much the same thing here. So it's the same type of uh, drive. And um, let's see. If I bring this over here, right, we still don't see any drives. So nothing really popped up. And obviously, because this is a NAS, this is configured a certain way. It's not going to just pop up that way anyway, right? All right, okay. So what can we do? Um, so the first thing is we need to use uh, more advanced tools to see what's going on with it because we're not able to access it normally there. Um, we need to see what's going on. And there could be problems with the drive too because we don't know. Maybe something else. This one was sounding like it was cranking a bit there, and I did not like that. Uh, this one you could hear a little bit, but obviously there's multiple heads multiple platters It's going to be making noises trying to configure stuff So what I need to do is because I have these two drives they pop up So that's a good thing, but now I need to be able to at least read the data So, so let's go over to our advanced uh, data recovery tools that we usually use after we replace heads in our clean room And then we need to extract the data from there and usually it's a process from there because it's never fun But this tool is going to help us out. So let's go over there and see what we see here on the main drives itself Okay, so we're going to go ahead and plug in this drive. We see the green lights, which is a really good thing. Um, we get to see the model number, the serial number, those things, which is good driver information. Those are a good thing to see. However, when we try to map the heads, when we try to work with it, it keeps giving errors. It keeps giving problems. So before we go down the big rabbit hole for this one, uh, we believe that this one's mirrored anyway, so which means that the data is going to be the same on each drive. Let's try to work with a better drive, right? Whichever one's better, we're going to work with that one. So we see that this one is a lot more healthier. We're able to do a lot more work with it, and we're actually able to access a lot of the partitions here. And because it's in a RAID, here, you're going to see there's lots of configurations that can make it a lot more difficult to maybe just locate the data, but it's not really too much of a thing because we're able to access it anyway because we have these advanced data recovery tools. But we're able to see at least uh, the, the RAID config here, and then as well as uh, there's partitions that actually have the user data on there, has their name, has lots of stuff there, and uh, looks to be pretty good. So we're working through a little bit more, and then we're able to actually save stuff and recover the data. So you guys can see, so that makes sense why you do have to these drives in here obviously like we can still work on the one drive even though it was giving a problem but it's good to always have that redundancy and this is exactly why it's very important to have that we recommend to essentially as like a data recovery center that you guys should always have make a backup of the drives anyway just to make sure that if you have a problem with one hopefully the other one wouldn't have a problem at the same time too right so this is one of these definitely good examples for that because we did see that one of the drives did have much more of a problem but since this one was pretty much a mirrored type of drive it seems to be exactly redundant it's the same thing so it's going to be a bit easier to work with but if we really needed to we could probably work with this drive anyway to see really what the problem is but we always want to make sure the data is good everything looks to be fine and we're able to recover the data so anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video on covering the data on a synology uh, nas drive if you did please leave a like really this helps a lot we make lots of data recovery videos do lots of pcb problems uh, liquid silver repairs we do seagate drives western digital drives uh, as you can see these ones this is the iron wolf one and it is a nas the 12 terabyte one um we also show videos on head replacements uh, pcb problems data recoveries uh USB drives too, we do. We do a lot of those as well. So if you guys are interested, definitely go ahead and check out those videos. Otherwise, see you guys next video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Take care and bye.